nature and its dynamics. I am Mother Earth. I am the reason why there is flora, fauna, forests, rivers, oceans and humans who have lived in my lab for millions of years. However, I feel sad to see humans misusing me intentionally. As a result, I face severe problems which we shall discuss in detail in this video. For example, I will take you to a small village in the Bhuj region of Gujarat where I had encountered a major problem many years ago. Come, let's meet Rupal and Rajal who stay in this village. The objective of this video is to understand the prevention and rescue efforts during the calamities. Rajal, have you completed your homework? No, I'm working on it. However, it will be a good idea to go to Hiralal Chachaji to ask him his views in completing this homework. He is very knowledgeable. Come, let us go. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon Chacha Ji. Hello, children. What brings you here? We have to write an essay on how to protect our resources like land, fuel and forest, etc. And to also write the consequences if these are not protected. It is a very interesting topic. And it is the need of the hour to protect land and forests. Come, sit here. Have you at any time faced a problem due to depletion of land, fuel and forests? If yes, can you list them? Children, are you aware that there are several natural resources like land, water, plants which help to maintain an equilibrium in the environment. Any misuse leads to many emergency situations like earthquake. What is an earthquake, Chacha Ji? I have never heard about this before. As the name indicates, earthquake occurs due to shaking of the surface of the earth. This causes tremors on the earth. This sounds scary. Does it lead to destruction? Yes, of course. Earthquakes cause extensive damage. Based on the intensity, earthquakes can be of lesser and greater magnitude. Earthquakes of greater magnitude destroy villages and cities and cause a lot of destruction. Chacha Ji, have you witnessed an earthquake ever in your life? Of course, yes. Our own village in this Bhuj region had experienced a massive earthquake about 19 years ago, it caused severe destruction. Oh, is it? What are the reasons for the earthquake? Some reasons are due to the forces of nature, which are beyond human control. Some are man-made reasons. How is man responsible? A very good question. Mining, dam building and a few other factors can cause earthquakes. They are all man-made causes. What are these? Can you please explain? Mining is a process where there is extraction of resources like coal, petroleum, limestone etc. Due to this process, Earth is dug wide and deep. This causes a lot of disturbances in the earth. 
even when dams are built due to extra water pressure earthquakes can occur we cannot stop mining however when tremors are felt mining and dam building should be stopped temporarily this will limit the damage to a large extent how is that possible these days scientists are predicting earthquakes through advanced tools okay earthquakes must be causing a lot of destruction earthquakes can possibly cause landslides fires tsunami etc which can damage property humans and animals landslides tsunami what are these landslides occur when large chunks of land fall off the mountain or hill tsunami is the earthquake in water how can we minimize the damage government advises people not to build houses at places where earthquakes occur very frequently as mentioned earlier there are tools to predict earthquakes then people are moved to safer places there are also suggestions to build earthquake resistant houses earthquake resistant houses are they different from the regular houses these houses are called earthquake resistant as they do not get destroyed even if an earthquake occurs has any of you ever experienced an earthquake if yes what preventive steps did you or your elders take now i remember my father telling me that they ran out of the houses when the earthquake occurred in our village yes of course all have to run into the open areas and not bother about their belongings then it is important not to stand under a tree or building we discussed about earthquakes chacha ji what are the other calamities that occur on earth floods and cyclones are also calamities what are floods and cyclones very heavy rainfall causes floods and cyclone this leads to water coming into the homes villages and cities occurrence of landslides and major destruction of property and lives why do floods occur when trees are cut and the land is barren even a slightly heavy rainfall causes floods as roots of tree hold the rain water if there are no trees there will be nothing to hold this water what can we do to prevent floods to prevent floods more and more trees should be planted drainage systems should be covered people who live near the water bodies like lakes rivers seas should be encouraged to plant more trees there is there a flood warning too yes there is a flood warning when the warning is issued people living in low lying areas areas most likely to be affected by floods are asked to move from those places to safer places this prevents a lot of damage does it mean that we need to take care of mother earth to prevent all kinds of damages yes you are right nature is very fragile one should never disturb the harmony chacha ji despite all these precautions what if earthquake or flood occur sometimes calamities are beyond human control when either earthquake or flood occurs 
a few precautions need to be taken. 1. Take people out of the earthquake prone or flood prone areas. 2. Provide safe drinking water and clean and healthy food so that there is no spread of diseases. 3. One should be careful from the insects and snakes under the debris. 4. Dead bodies and dead animals should be removed to prevent the spread of diseases. 5. Medical aid should be provided to the affected. 6. People should be shifted to safer places. 7. In schools, children should be given information about earthquakes and floods. Children, list the numbers of people who will provide immediate help during calamities. Chacha ji, is water scarcity also a natural calamity? Isn't our village facing it right now? Yes, it is called drought. When there is severe shortage of water for longer spells of period, drought occurs. Is this also a man-made condition? Some are man-made factors and some are beyond our control. Man-made factors like deforestation contribute to drought. How does deforestation cause drought? Due to deforestation, there is no rain and hence there is drought. Am I correct? Yes, you are absolutely right. One needs to take steps to prevent drought. Else, agriculture suffers and there is a bad effect on animals and humans. Malnutrition and dehydration are common amongst people during this time. It means people suffer due to lack of food and lack of water. This is a very serious situation. Does growing more and more trees help overcome drought? Not just growing of trees. We need to take many steps to prevent drought. We need to take steps to save water. How is that done, Chacha Ji? Rainwater harvesting is one such method where rainwater can be stored. We need to recycle water. Isn't recycling using the same water for multiple purposes? Like using the already used water for watering plants and cleaning the cattle? Am I right? Yes, you are right. We need to save water. Dams and reservoirs also should be used to save water. Land also should be properly used during drought. Plants that don't require much water should be planted during drought. Chacha ji, a lot of calamities are man-made and can be controlled. Yes, you are right. You need to save environment to prevent these. Chacha ji, you gave us valuable information for our homework. We shall leave now. We need to complete our homework too. Children, we have seen how disasters like earthquakes, floods, cyclones, drought cause damage to lives. We have learnt about the various disasters and their reasons in this video. We have also learnt about the ways to prevent and save ourselves from these disasters. We should do everything possible to stop these disasters from occurring.